Prostatitis refers to inflammation of the prostate gland, which is a walnut-sized gland located just below the bladder in men. There are several types of prostatitis, each with different causes and symptoms. Acutobacterial prostatitis. This type is caused by a bacterial infection and can develop suddenly. Symptoms include severe pelvic pain, fever, chills, frequent and painful urination, and difficulty emptying the bladder completely. It requires prompt medical treatment with antibiotics. Chronic bacterial prostatitis. This form is similar to acute bacterial prostatitis, but persists for a longer period, typically for several months. Symptoms are often less severe, but can include recurrent urinary tract infections UTIs, pelvic pain, and discomfort in the genital area. Chronic prostatitis or chronic pelvic pain syndrome CPCPS. This is the most common type of prostatitis. Its exact cause is unknown, but it may involve non-bacterial inflammation or other factors. Symptoms include pelvic pain, discomfort in the genitals or lower back, pain during or after ejaculation, and urinary symptoms like frequent or painful urination. Asymptomatic inflammatory prostatitis. This type is diagnosed incidentally during medical tests for other conditions because it typically does not cause noticeable symptoms. It involves inflammation of the prostate gland without causing symptoms of prostatitis. Diagnosis of prostatitis involves a medical history review, physical examination, and often laboratory tests such as urine analysis, prostate-specific antigen PSA test, and sometimes imaging studies like ultrasound or MRI. Treatment depends on the type of prostatitis, but may include antibiotics for bacterial infections, anti-inflammatory medications, alpha blockers to help relax the muscles around the prostate, pain relievers, and lifestyle changes. Prostatitis can have a significant impact on quality of life due to its symptoms and potential complications. It's essential for individuals experiencing symptoms of prostatitis to seek medical evaluation for proper diagnosis and treatment. And as always, thanks for watching.